So, um, just where we are so far, we've done the hold, we've done then the effleurage, which is the stroking, and we did the more moving the tissue after. Um, the technique for today would be called percussion or tapopement. It has two names. It means the same. And basically, it's where um, you're having a continuous hitting of the client's tissue over and over again. You need to take some time to do it. You can't do it and then move to the other side. So you need to take so 30 seconds or so and continuously do it over a client, yeah? Um, what do you think would be the effect of it? Increase blood circulation to the area. Yeah, it could um, stimulate the blood circulation, yeah? It looks like it could, could cause some kind of heat around the area. Yeah, with blood you say come heat, so you, you have more <coughs> higher temperature. You will soften the stiff muscles a bit. It could, yeah. It could uh, let the client let go of the muscle, yeah? Um, do you think generally it would stimulate someone to be like, okay, ready for it or relax? Relax. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a stimulating. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of one of the techniques that it's kind of hard to know. Is it okay? Uh, I just want to unzoom. So, so uh, so it's in here, um, yeah? Okay. <coughs> okay, it's better. <laughs> so it's one of the techniques that you eat. Some people, it would make them um, more energized, uh, stimulate them, and get ready, I don't know, for example, for a run. Some other people, it may relax them. So it's kind of subjective, and you can use it depends on the client for relaxation or energizing them. But we yeah? should ask them if that is relaxing or we should in the you future could. realize from you, the muscle. You, you could. You, know, you could ask them, how is it? Yeah. Um, and then they would tell you, oh, I liked it or not. And you feel more um, awake or you feel more sort of relaxed with it. Mm -hmm. So you can't know. You, can, you cannot make an assumption. Okay, so here is the few technique. The first one is tapping, and tapping is um, let's start with the with the um, with the posture. You know, getting your legs aside and getting more uh, bend in your knees. You don't have to bend a lot. It's kind of light bend, and then relax your your fingers. And the work is actually done by the forearm and the finger rebound. So actually that, the, the wrist and the fingers are kind of relaxed. It's like doing that a little bit, yeah? You kind of let go and relax. And a lot of the, the, the work done by the forearm. This technique is nice because it's very light. People who might be kind of hesitate from your technique you can maybe start doing it kind of light. Yeah. It's really nice to work on the scalp. And like everything, either people like it or hate it. Some people say, oh, I don't know, it doesn't feel nice and relaxing. Some people say, oh, it's amazing. It's like a drop of rain on the head. How is it, Anas? Good. Yeah? yeah? Good. You can do it on the neck a little bit. So areas that are sensitive, you can do that on the face. Scalp and head, yeah? Now, you can do that even here, but sometimes when the muscles are kind of big, you want to have more stronger technique. <coughs> so this is tapping. Cupping has the form, you're forming a cup with your hand, so it would look from the side something like that, and, and then uh, try to fit it into the client's uh, body and it will have a distinctive sound. Remember that the back of the client doesn't end here. You can do it even on the side, on the side of the hip. It sends 
a ripple through the whole body. So in a way, it reached deeper than normal massage technique because you move the whole body, it creates a ripple into deeper muscles. You can do it very quick or you can do it quite slow but keep the rhythm on. Now let's try to do it without a towel and see what Anna's feel. Do you hear the different sounds? How is it, Anas? It's better with the towel. With the towel. <laughs> because when you do it without the towel, there is a little bit of a pain, a, fl a flickering sensation, skin to skin. So the towel does give you um, that cushioning that you need to do that. So it's a lot more comfortable with the towel. So this is cupping, yeah? Next one. It's called slapping. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> and as it is, it can really stimulate the blood circulation there. It's really good on thicker muscles, bigger muscles. Imagine someone had that area in a cast because they've had fracture. You want to wake up these muscles. So here you can do really relaxing massage, you know, get the shoulder and then you want to stimulate this muscle that didn't do much for a long while. That would be a good thing. You want to say something? No? Okay. How about if someone that already has a hip uh, uh, operation and for a while, can it be done for that? It doesn't seem good one, isn't it? To start with. Mm -hmm. After a while, when they recover, it will be a good one. But at the time of operation and maybe take and give and take two months, it might not be a good idea to do that because it might aggravate it. Mm -hmm. yeah? So it's one of the techniques that sometimes you have to be kind of careful. Yeah? Yeah. Hacking. Use the side of the hands. Very nice on area like the buttock that they have very thick muscles and you need to go through kind of um, one muscle layer and, and another and with sometimes with your massage it's kind of hard to reach there so you can do it over there you can do it on the shoulders yeah and the erector spiny quadratus lumbarum muscle, glute, gluteus, good. And the last one is um, beating or pounding, and that's the loose fist. And like everything, you, you can take it to the art of whatever you want to do. You can do it in here, come in here. You can do it on the Achilles, the, the Achilles tendon. You can do it in here. How is it, Anas? Good. Yeah, it's, it should feel really good, really, really stimulating and kind of surprisingly. You can do with a little bit of movement on the gastrocnemius muscle, or you can do it slowly. It's almost like the ripple, you know children, how sometimes they like the lullaby movement? It can send them right away into La La Land, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Good. And I like also to do that on the sacrum. Now, how do you find the sacrum? Remember this um, curve? Remember how it's called? Maybe oh, sorry. Start with law. Lumbar lordosis. So this is the lordosis. How do we call this one? The curve. Kyphosis. And here is the lordosis again. We need to brush on that. So when it comes to the lordosis, it has the top here um, on the lower part of the lower um, uh, lower spine. 
So it's nice just to have again a repo. It's almost like surrounding your weight. Don't hit too much. It's like a fallen stone. And then just being there. How does it feel? Energizing. Yeah. It's kind of surprising because you're thinking, does it feel good? You have to try it yourself. Some do like, some don't. In a way, <clears throat> try to separate your personal preferences and get the feedback from what other people feel. Yeah? So, I will um, give you this uh, file. I would like you to go through the list. I'll come and help you around. <coughs> Can you please try to do few without a towel, just to feel the difference for the other person, and then you can decide if you like it with or without. Some people like it with, uh, majority of people like it with, with towel, because it has this uh, um, cushioning of the towel. Any question? So if you was doing a full body massage and people do prefer it with a towel, when do you do it? Yeah, because of the... I will probably do it, you know, I would start with a hold, do effleurage and petrissage, maybe more deep technique, then put it in back and then do it over the towel. Because I had a massage the other day and they ended with that and it was really nice at the end of the... You received or you... I received. Yes. Yeah. Did you like it? Mm. Sometimes you feel like it has sent like electric sort of buzz yeah. into you your ended bunk. with that and, that was and you lovely. feel yeah. completely with no spine it mm. feels like you have no spine there yeah, it's really nice. it's no muscles you just carry yourself with very with great ease mm. is that okay is that okay or would you would you um, would you recommend like that? Just all the fingers together yeah. what, oh no 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 you can do that on the head you can do that yeah, yeah. <coughs> you can do that movement yeah definitely might you do this so near the end of the massage to almost bring the client back so they've been all nice yeah. relaxed mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. kind of trying to bring them back yes. so you would do it near the end of the massage uh, well, not so. all the time oh, no. at times it would be that you can start it or depends on your approach yeah this is a tool you can use it during it during the massage for the back or at the beginning even yeah so you can start with that you can start with a light and then come to be quite stronger and stronger and stronger and then after that start with the effleurage. So it's a tool, it's not first learn this and then putting it in the right place it's kind of the way that we can keep discussing it after where to put it exactly uh, sometimes there is no there is no right answers for that, and each client you almost need to feel them in order to to do it as much as you can right for them, and it might take you a few goals to understand what exactly they like and what the response best to. Just to say, uh, I don't know if it means um, anything, but I think what you were saying is a bit better about um, the massage you received. And end with that, because it sounds like you don't want to relax the client and then take a, like a graph goes all the way up, take it to uh, a climax of of this massage, or yeah. like that, because they're all getting energized, and then just and leave, leave it. it. Yeah. Cause yeah. Then this might bring them a bit. Um, yeah. 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 It's it's uh, putting it into steps. Shall we start then? Yeah. Good. Uh,